Well, so let's start with ShopRite. And this one, of course, is the largest in sub-Saharan Africa by sales. And it has Whitey Besson at the helm. He, of course, is a very visible and outspoken CEO. Market capitalization, 96.5 billion rands. Price to earnings ratio, 20.92. Dividend yield of 2.37. So Grant, like mm. five years ago, these, were, these guys were like grabbing market share. They were on fire. They were getting into countries in Africa that had you know, high commodity price expectations, growth like Angola, Nigeria, and so on. Mm -hmm. The last couple of years, though, it's been a little bit more muted. They haven't had the same net gains in a weak competitive environment, I would say. Yeah. Yes, I completely agree. Uh, so they went on to the African expansion, expanding quite aggressively into Nigeria and Angola mm. and also Tanzania. Uh, unfortunately, Tanzania didn't work out for them, so uh, they've pulled out of that market. Yeah. Uh, but they don't seem to be grabbing as much market share um, as they have been. Um, I think in the, the last quarter last year, we were actually quite worried that they were losing some market share mm. to, uh, to pick mm. and pay. Yeah. Well, there you go, right? Because it's that ebb and flow we were talking about. Yeah. But overall, I mean, a, a very well-run business, mm. stable business, um, good margins. And I do think they're one of the retailers that could benefit from uh, shoppers shopping down, uh, mm. down a level. So, of course, mm. they have the USAVE offering um, as well as ShopRite, which uh, aims a bit more for the middle market and then uh, at Checkers, uh, yep. which looks after your higher income owners. Yeah, interesting that they segment it that way. Let's have a look at the share chart because you'll see this is a five-year picture and that's what I'm referring to. Very, very good period there from 2011, 2012, 2013. Everyone's loving it. Hits an all-time high. Whitey can do no wrong. Since then, perhaps just a little bit of a sense that they'd uh, slowed down a little bit. The Africa strategy not looking so good in 2014, 2015 because mm -hmm. of collapsing commodity prices. Uh, but it, look, I mean, there at the end there, you can see a little bit of a revival with the rest of the market, I suppose. So I guess the question is now, what's going to drive them forward? And do you think this one's hot or not? Uh, I'll start with the last TV. question. Yeah. Um, I do think it is hot. Mm. Um, I don't think that they will be able to grow uh, the earnings as much as uh, some of the, the competitors within the sector. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll see meagre uh, earnings growth. But in the long term, I do think Africa um, will come through for them. So we're yeah. seeing uh, the African division uh, giving earnings growth of 15% yeah. uh, relative to, to the high single digit in South Africa. So it really is uh, partly an African growth story as well as the local consumer. I want to ask you one additional thing. Mm. Everybody knows that Christo Vita has got like, I don't know what it is, 12% perhaps of ShopRite, that some of his friends and associates have enough that brings you up to about 20%. There's consistent speculation, or maybe it's just loose talk, that maybe now that Steinhoff is on its way as a global player, that there could be in the future some kind of combination of uh, Steinhoff and ShopRite. Is that in any way a reason to buy ShopRite stock? Is it the sort of thing that could happen or is it just such an far out sort of option that it's not really even worth talking about? There has been a lot of speculation mm. uh, with regards to, to a possible buyout and tie-up. Um, and if you just look at the names that you mentioned, I mean, yeah. Christoph Visser now has a large stake in Steinhoff. So the market has been speculating uh, on this deal. Uh, and of course, if they were to be bought out, they would have to be bought out at a premium. Yeah. Um, so if you are suspecting this could happen, uh, then it's yeah. a good enough reason to buy the yeah. share. So it's another sort of underpin, perhaps, perhaps, but it's perhaps not something to rush out and buy the stock now. But mm -hmm. you're going with hot anyway, because you yeah. think that this is a stock which has had the potential to, to move along a little bit. Okay, I feel like being a little bit more on the positive side today, so I'm going to go with hot on that one as well. Next